glory. We worship and we bless your holy name. We surrender to you as the Lord. You are the only true and the only living God. The I am that I am. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be lifted up. We are gathered before you today, Father. We are gathered before your holy throne of grace. Father, we believe that today it will be a day of a turnover. We believe that today is a day of turning around. We believe that today is a day of change. Father, our lives will never remain the same. Father, you have promised by your word. You said that, Heavenly Father, from the beginning. You said, Lord, I am with you until the end of time. That is why, Lord, we still trust. We still believe in the blood of Jesus. We still trust and believe in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We still trust and they believe in the Heavenly Father and the miracles and the possibilities that are found when we believe. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. I worship you. I adore your holy name. I bless you. I worship you as the Lord and the God of my life. You are worthy. You are great. You are faithful. You are awesome. You are loving. You are great. You are marvelous. Hallelujah, we give you the praise. Hallelujah, we give you the glory. And blessed be unto the name of the Most High God. Hallelujah, we give you the Hallelujah, we bless your name. Hallelujah, we worship you. Hallelujah, we adore your precious name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. What a God we serve. What a mighty God we worship. We thank you for the opportunity that you have given to us. We thank you for your grace and the mercy that is reigning supreme upon our lives. We thank you for your hand that is upon our lives, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for whatever you are doing. In our lives for the glory of the kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being present in this place. Thank you for touching us one by one. Thank you for speaking with us one by one. One. Thank you for directing us today. Thank you for leading us today, Jehovah. We give you the praise and we give you all the glory. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord in the highest. Oh, hallelujah to the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, Lord. We give you all the glory, Jesus. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jehovah. We worship you. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise, Lord. So you are bound to meet those challenges. You're the right choice. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what my friend. You are about to meet internal and external opposers. Internal and external. If you are joining, the internal one will rise up so quick. The moment you see that internal one, rejoice. Because it means where you are going is closer than you. All Christians must be opposers. But, but the bad one is internal opposers. Internal, I mean, those who are close to you, God with you. You are a co worker, you love people you trust. That the one that even your wife or her husband, even your children, or family of your wife or family of your husband, you find that they are the ones that they say they don't understand you. You try to make them happy. You 
you find it's worse. Because where you are going, you are going closer. So so Satan will affect everybody around Satan you. Affect but there's one weapon as a Christian which I want to share with you. That overcome opposers, enemies, even pretenders around you. So, let's go to the word of God. That's what we can share today. If you can practice this, no one can overcome you. No if you want to succeed in life, there's only one thing you can do. Submission to your God. Just write it down. Submission to my God. That's what we'll be talking about. So if we read uh, in Deuteronomy 31, let's go there. We read from 22. Verse 22. Did you learn something yesterday? Eh? Can I get three people and tell me what have you learned? Maybe you can, we can take it from there. So that if you didn't learn, we repeat of yesterday. Three people come, tell me what you have learned. Only three. If not, we are going back to what we were teaching yesterday. Three, come. I'm seeing my sister here, I'm seeing my brother here. Three, I will see. Yeah, four. Okay, four is five. I want us to start from there because I believe from here. Another annual conference is next year. So conference in What you'll be practicing from now. Yeah. It will make you to come differently next year. If you can look at me. You will see I'm different than you saw me. Is it not true? Eh? So Amen. now, what you are learning now, you will practice it. It promotes you to be. It promotes what you are supposed to be next year. So it promotes you to be next year. So thank you. God bless you. Let's get one. Let's, let's get one person to hear. Uh, thank you. You are, you are, you are, this one is Charisse here. And this one is Charis where? Yeah. Okay. Charis Makado. Charis Makado. Charis Lesotho. Charis Lesotho. Charis Botswana. Charis Botswana. So you can hear. It's Charis. So it's Charis here. Charis Makado. Charis Botswana. Charis Lesotho. So Amen. I think uh, we'll learn so much from them. Let's hear. Yesterday I learned about the Leviathan spirit. Which was explained by Daddy as a twisting, fleeing serpent. Which, oh, which lives in the sea. It is like a crocodile. It is one of the spirit that attacks men of God. And and, and, and children of God. It brings confusion. It brings division. If you allow it to enter you. By, by opening the door. Through sinning. It comes into you. And, pos and possesses you. It moves in very slow. It, it lives in the sea but it can see everything that is happening in the 
church. And when it attacks a Christian, the Christian starts to be confused because it is explained as a twisting serpent. It twists the truth of God that, that you know. The same way that it twisted the truth that was known by Adam and uh, uh, Eve in yeah, the Garden of Adam Eden. So when it has affected you, it brings confusion in your own life about, about your own calling, but you end up affecting others. And the more you yield to it, it destroys you. And when you have yielded completely to it, you start attacking the body of Christ. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. I think she's a pastor. She has taken everything. <laughs> but, but I think she only omitted that it finds the glory. In she you. Has said a mouthful. That's what I was planning to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Makes people to rebel. And now we'll fight together. It's like we are not children of one person. And we heard that our tongue is very powerful. It's like a two-edged sword. Amen. Amen. And when this thing has affected you, and if you can just hold on there, continue to fight. When I just go on fighting, never ever stop. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> they have taken all the way. <laughs> Amen. Hey, what I can say is that uh, uh, another thing that the pastor said yesterday. Uh, he said uh, the grace of God. The, the, the glory of God. It appears where there's the grace. So, so if, if the elevated spirit has affected people, uh, people will see that, yes, indeed God is there in that church. But there will be limitation. Uh, that's all that I, I, I can say. But my pastor has taken all. Amen. Amen. Uh, these are your, our children. They are, they are telling you that they are learning. Like, it's, for them, right? it's excellent. Amen. Uh, guys, you're excellent. Uh, you, you have learned a lot and uh, you also taught us today. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can see Charis here. Charis Mo. Charis uh, Makado. Makado. Charis Mutwana and Charis Lesotho. Lesotho. Yes. And Next time, when we finish tomorrow, we'll call other charities to tell us. Hey, because I think, I think, I think we are here to learn. Already we, we heard that there is Leviathan spirit. But we can overcome all this submission. That's right. Submission. I was very touched to find that we. Yesterday I was told uh, there are some pastors from, I mean, from our church, like one church in Angola. Wanted to, wanted to be here. Uh, and uh, I believe also we also have other pastors from Angola here. If, if you are Angola, Angola, we are coming from Angola, lift, stand up. If you go now, talk about Angola. Can you yes, your head? like those words there, also so from Angola. Angola. And ah, when, where did you come? Huh? It's uh, learning. Yes, before yesterday. Yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Yes. Mama. You, you just come to attend the conference. Yes. Yebo. This is really frightening. This man, um, you are coming here for the first time. This is my first time. Yes. So you can see that somebody coming from Angola just to attend the conference. It's really frightening us. You know? 
those who have learned, they say, uh, it's, it sends some, what, is it goosebumps? What? You, goosebumps. Goosebumps. Uh. It's not a good word. Spams. Good. Goosebumps uh, in our spines. <laughs> You know, it's just some, somebody just find out it's not real. That word is not working. The right word which is working is this one. It makes our hairs to stand. You, you know, when he says coming from Angola, just to attend for the first time. Some of you, yourself, you heard the hairs. But the goosebumps, you could not even hear on your spine. So, to be honest, just to tell us that God is really waking. Why, first time, you just come here? You are watching Charles TV? Yes, yes. I used to watch Charles TV in our country. This one is your wife? She's my wife. But your wife doesn't know English. She doesn't, huh? yes. she doesn't know English at all. Yes, yes, I have to translate her. Huh? I have to translate her. All right, now uh, let her speak with a, a language. She speak well. Is it Portuguese? Portuguese, yes. Portuguese. Yes, Portuguese. Can you speak in Portuguese? Uh, do you watch her? Is, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. in Portuguese? Yeah. Uh, potato cherries and uh, uh, mazambani and well, what, what do you say? I mean, in your language. Uh, sim, assisto. Huh? Assisto, sim. Assisto, sim. Yes, assisto, sim, cherries. All right. Uh. Do you watch cherries in Angola? Queremos, sim. Queremos. Queremos, sim. I want to hear Charis uh, say, I'm Charis? watching Charis in Angola. What do you say? Eu assisto Charis in Angola. So you can hear, Eu assisto Charis in Angola. What, what I wanted her to hear is when she says, uh, she watches, can you say, I watch Charis in Angola, in, in your language? Pode repetir que você está. Nós assistimos o canal Charis em Angola. Can you hear that? Uh -huh. Você que diz potência de Charis em Angola. Amém. So, you know, whether you are speaking Italian, <laughs> but Charis you can hear. Mara Charis o tanto igua. And then you are which Charis, Charis, Charis you can hear. hear. Yeah. Charis means Charis means grace. So we thank God the grace. So le vamo di ma kau kelo e. What does he say? Uh, he said even his kid who is five years knows that they were coming here to see you. Can you say it? Uh, so I said, even my child, he's uh, five years old. Uh -huh. He knows that we come to visit Apostle Makananisa here in South Africa. And you can even South Africa. say Makananisa. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And even demons in Angola, they are the in Angola. There's, there's Makananisa, there's yeah. Charis in Angola. Yeah. That is why you see these people here. That is why you see these people here. Who are pastors here. Coming to Charis. Christians, we can't submit to God if we are failing to submit to authorities. It's difficult to submit to God without Submitting to authorities. Are you hearing that? Amen. So any authority that has been placed by God teaches us to submit to that authority. So where we want to read Deuteronomy 31 and we read from 22. Revale utwao verse 22. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. So Moses wrote this song the same day and taught it the children of Israel. 
And Moshe. he gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a charge and said, Be strong and of good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in a book until they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant of Jehovah, saying, Take this book of the law and put it by the side of the ark of the covenant of Jehovah your God, that it may be there for a witness against thee. Amen. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, ye have been rebellious against Jehovah. Mm. And how much more after my death? Amen. How much more after my what? My death. Alaila Joshua Murawa Nune Aretisa Udiresina Kaobani Kiwe no Tobu Rosha by Israel Mona Rengie Kilene Chiruyona Womena Kitoba Kitobaliwena Moshera Fediche Umwala Manchi Amolao Amo Pukong Apetile Wamala Alaila Balevi Barwadi Bapulukelo Yahuera no Yamorena Are Chiang Pukuye Yamolao Li Pulukele Right. Let's read from verse 27. It says, For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, while I'm yet alive with you this day, ye have been rebellious against Jehovah. And how much more after my death? Assemble unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death, ye will utterly corrupt yourself Amen. and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And evil will befall you in the latter days because ye will do that which is evil in the sight of Jehovah to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. If you can see that, let's pray. Father, thank Arabine. you for your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want us to learn why we are reading all this. And also what we have read. Uh, the Bible says, Moses was a meek man. He was so humble. He, and he could not talk too much. Remember he had a, a stammering tongue. And already out of his ministry. He have experienced many, many rebellion. Because of the destiny of his ministry. Where we are reading, you can still see that he was not sure if they will change. He was still worrying about them that they are still going to rebel. Moses had opportunity of passing the mantle to another. But his concern was submission. If you can read there, you realize that Moses' concern was submission. If you can read the book of number 16, that's where you can still see people standing against Moses and God destroyed them. And the Bible says, the Bible opened itself and shallowed to show that truly Moses <laughs> challenges that really very, very dangerous to him. Yesterday, we were talking that Moses also it has affected his ministry to extend that he ended up hanging over to Joshua. Whereas when God assigned him, he said, you are taking people to Canaan. But he never reached Canaan because of people who don't submit. So here he says to them, I know your rebellion. 
that God has raised Joshua. I know that God has raised Joshua. But I don't know if you are going to change because if, when I'm not there, when I'm not there, you can still go to do what you were doing. Because you have done it in my presence. You were rebellious in front of my eyes. And you have seen God at work. If, if, if you can read about Moses, there is no big man of God who is better than Moses in Egypt. Who have done what Moses did. Because Moses was able to lift up his hand. What God said must lift. And they see open a road. And they pass. So you can still see that. If we are entrusted. With something better than what Moses was having. We are supposed to be doing mighty works. But we are being affected. By submission. Moses said. I have seen. You being rebellious. And now. You see now. God, God is entrusting someone with what I'm heavy. But you will do more because you are corrupt. You say you are corrupt. You say you are corrupt. You are going to do more when I'm not even there. This was a very painful message. According to me, I believe Moses was supposed to be saying, I'm happy about you. And I have led you to this far. And that's what God has spoken. But when you read there, you find that Moses said, I know you are corrupt. Maybe Moses was saying, you are the one who makes me to reach where I supposed to reach. You, you, you have affected my calling. And you make me to suffer so that I die before I see the fulfillment. And God will also punish you. That's what he's saying. He? When you are corrupt, God will punish you. So here, this is the message that one charis. God is entrusting this anointing of charis with your pastors. Now, it's time now to submit. Tell it's time to submit. So, corruptions, failure, failing to submit, it will never affect them. Remember what God says to Joshua. He said, Joshua, Joshua we, you don't need any people. When I talk about Wherever you put your oh, leg, you have taken the leg. So submission is when you are aware of what God has placed on Joshua. I don't know if you hear him. Because God now is raising Joshua. I don't know if you hear him. And this Joshua, who are prophets, who are apostles, wherever they go, they will dominate. And the person who understands the anointing upon them will know that submission is a way to take the anointing from those apostles, from those prophets, and that's way also they will dominate. Tell your neighbor, say, my friend, your way out is submission. Because what God is raising now, even if you stand against it, it will destroy you. It's like a big truck. Horse and trailer. That is coming. You will never block it on the road. You are bound to submit and go on the other side so that the horse and trailer can pass. I don't know if you are hearing me. So there 
is something big that God is raising here today. From now on, you will hear prophets from Charis, apostles from Charis, who are anointed, who are so much anointed. But what you need to do is submission. When you submit, you will dominate wherever you are. Dominate in your job, dominate in your business, dominate in whatever you are doing. Hallelujah. That's what I want to submit. Say, I want to submit. So, you must find a way. And you find a way of doing it. And also find a name that you can put in yourself. And you say, my pastor, I call him this. This one is my pastor, I call him this. Whatever he says, is my apostle, is my prophet, is my teacher. He will guide me to the place where where and you confirm yourself to that submission. I don't know if you're hearing me. Let, let, let me give you some scriptures. Because you can't submit to God unless you submit to your pastor. Tell your neighbor, you can't submit to God unless you submit to your pastor. Let me show you a shocking verse. In Hebrews 13, verse 17. Go to that verse. Hebrews 13. I want us to read that verse double. Hebrews. Hebrews what? 13. Verse what? Right. Can I read it aloud? It says, Obey who? Your pastors. Amen. That have the rule over you. And submit to them. For they watch in behalf of your soul. As they that shall give account that they may do this with joy. Amen. And not with grief, for this were unprofitable for you. Amen. If, if, Listen, there are two things you must check there. That pastors, what they do when you are submitting on them, they rule over you. They rule over you. Can you just read that? I mean, it's not what I'm reading here. Obey them that have the rule over you. Amen. You must be ruled by them. And submit to them. Amen. Meaning? So there are two things. is submission and ruling. You cannot... Listen, you cannot say you're a child of God if you're overruling your person. Because there are two things that brings you to your submission is when, when you allow them to rule over you even to submit you to make you to submit hallelujah praise the lord if pastor is happy it brings something on you if you read here the bible says they watch over you and they must do this with joy so that it becomes profitable to you Listen, when you become profitable, it means you are making to make, you are, you are able to make a profit. The reason why the reason you are not becoming profitable is because your pastor is not happy about you. Don't be in a church where you are far away from your pastor. Don't be on the overflow. Come closer. Come closer. 
when I the ministry, not on the overflow. Obey them. Obey them. But what is important is when you are hearing your pastor and you obey him, you become profitable. Tell me, you become profitable when you obey, when you obey, obey your pastor. That is submission. Before you do something, don't just rush it like you know. Don't just rush it like you know. I remember one time I told some people when we were doing fast, I said, please, we don't need anybody to go home. This lady began to wake up in the morning and say, you know, I need to go home. And when she reached home, we were still in fasting. She was asked to cook. She cooked. She forgot she was in fasting. She ate. She started to taste the food and end up eating. After eating, when she's busy cooking, when she was busy cooking, she burned herself. She came to church and said, Pastor, something wrong happened. I burned myself. When I was cooking, I said, what is it that I said? Don't go home. There are things that your pastor, when he says it, take it as it is. I don't know if you are hearing me. Because they rule over you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor say, my friend, do you obey your pastor? Ring. Ring. Look the person in the eye, you will see he's a robber. You will see he's a You will see he's a Muslim Christian robber. If you read First Samuel, let's go there. Chapter eight. Chapter eight. We can read from verse four. First Samuel. Samuel Wapini. It has challenged me. First Samuel, chapter eight. Chapter eight, verse four. Verse four to eight. Of it, our eight. Look here. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel Amen. and to Ramah. And Amen. they said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk, thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all other nations. But the thing displeased Samuel. Can Amen. you see the verse there? Yeah, the verse this thing displeased Samuel. Because Samuel knows he depends on God. But his year is Samuel. And when they said, give us a king to mm. judge us. And Samuel prayed unto Jehovah. And Jehovah said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people mm. in all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not be king over them. Amen. Oh my God. You can see here that they came elders. They came to the one that was appointed by that time. And they said, no, 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 no. Your sons are not showing leadership. We need to be like those other ones there. There are some nations who have got kings they chose. Even you choose a king for us. In other words, they look at the management of Samuel and they come together and discuss. These are the elders. If you can see, even in the church, we have got elders where elders can come together and discuss against the vision of the men of God. But this displeases because any elder who might be seeing something was supposed to be rushing to the leader and say, I'm seeing something here, not to discuss. They come together, they discuss and show that Samuel is failing. 
Samuel knew he cannot control his children. He fear God, but he must teach his children. So, if those children want to follow David, it's not up to him as long as he taught them. But here, you can see them saying, give us a king. And Samuel was old, yes, but the children were misbehaving. was not saying Samuel can hear God. That doesn't mean Samuel can hear God. Though he was old, he was still hearing God speaking. And the Bible says, after he prayed, God says, they are not rejecting you. They are rejecting me. Do what they are saying. Can I tell you something? Sometimes pastors can allow you to do what you are doing because you want to do it as God has allowed it. But there are times when you find that there is something you don't understand, you need to rush there with submission. Not to come together because you have got a position. They came together because of their position and they say your children listen I want to tell you something many servants of God they are facing trouble because of their children don't disregard them because of their children Satan can still attack them but he will never win them I don't know if you are hearing me Satan can attack those children if the man of God is called by the living God, don't judge that man by his children. Carry on submitting. And when you carry on, God of mercy will lead you to a right path. Here God says, they could not listen to you. They are not listening to me. Listen to this. Whatever you hear your leader say something, is God speaking with you. When he directs you, is God directing you. If he gives you a word, is God giving you a word. Just submit and see what will happen to you. Let me give you an example. Before I start this church, my wife led me to another church. We become partners there with the church and also become children in the church. When we reached the church, we didn't know that the church divided three times. And the people who were dividing the church were not leaving the church. They will never leave the church until the church dies. Listen to this. The moment we reach in that church, we found that there's something we can do. My wife began to say, you are working, we are we need to know the welfare of the pastor. We love this man. We need to support him. And we began to say, let's buy him closer. So the moment we did something like that, other began to approach us. You don't know whom you are buying closer. This man is not even good. We said, no, 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 no. We don't even know you. And we are surprised. What we want to do, we don't want to do it to the men. We want to do it to our God. When we see us doing something here, we are not doing it to this man. But we know it's God who called this man. But whatever we are doing, we are doing it unto the living God. They were angry. They sidelined us. They went away. We carry on. We carry on. And until the pastor brought us closer, we end up closer, be closer to the pastor. We knew how he was living. And we tried to find the best way of supporting him because we are closer.
Kanisa. We know what is lacking. We know what we can do. And the pastor brought us closer. This makes us better. By then I was working. I ended up opening a business in Pretoria. I had my own business of the same job that I was doing. I was prospering in what I was doing there. To a way that they were really shocked. Listen to this. Whatever you are doing, you will find all those crooks. There are crooks in the church who find submission of, your, of the servant of the living God. They are there. They will never leave the church until the church dies down. They want people not to submit because they know what submission can bring. Submission can bring your results. Submission can bring prosperity. Submission brings a spiritual growth. So they're there against the man of God so that you must never grow. Because you will never take a word of a man you don't support. You will never take a word of a man you don't respect. So if you are respecting and submitting whatever he is saying, you will take Tell someone, my friend. Touch my friend. Say, my friend. Are you submitting to your church? How many people are you facing that are against the vision in the church? When you want to support your pastor, they stand against. When you say, let's do this, they stand against. I'm here to tell you, such people, devil, devil is fighting them. As he's using them, very soon they will leave the church. In charis, if they won't submit, they will leave the church. I prophesy against them that they are leaving the church and the vision of the living God will grow and multiply. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what I say, my friend. What are you doing in your church? Ring. Ring. I will show you something today. That's I'm here to deal with you. I will deal with you until your mind be confirmed with the Holy Spirit. So that God must speak. Because we need Christians who knows why they are in the church and who can overcome Satan. Not Christians that will find the old crooks. I, found, I call them old crooks. They, 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 they always moved out. They, they divide here, but divide they go to this church and divide there. They go to this and divide, there. And divide, there. And divide there. Listen, such people, they don't stay in church for three years. They don't stay in church for three years. When you overcome them, check three years in your church. Check if they're going to stay forever there. The moment they hear, there's a prophet from where, where they are there. Prophet from where, where they are there. They know all prophets. But they don't even belong to any church. When they come to church, they are like serious so that they rob other people. When time when they stand against, you stand with them so that you end up not submitting. They are robbing you. Such people are robbing you. They are robbing your spiritual growth. I'm here to tell you, if you want to prosper in the spirit, I was not born like this. But my submission took me to where I am today. If you want to prosper in the spirit, just Submit, become stupid when in the church and do what God is saying. When they come to give you wrong words, tell them, I didn't come with you and I don't know you. I'm here to worship my God. If you speak with me, let's talk about my God. I'm born in Venda. You are born where? You can even ask them where they were born. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's what I say, my friend. From Jose. You need to submit. Look the person there, you will see is a robber. 
can, can you stand up and go to three people and okay. church? Of your church and church. If, if truly they are submitted or, or they, very soon they are running away. Okay. Can, you find, can you find three people of your church? Maybe they are not here. They are, they are here to find out. Very soon they are leaving the church. Can you find three? And ask them, are you, are you sure you are? Only three, Baba Rufel. You are here to stay. Can, can you go out and find such people? Can you go to the one you suspect? Can, can you go be open and say, I'm in the house of God? Uh, say, I'm, I'm suspecting you. Uh, are, are you sure you will stay here forever? Can, you are here. Can, can you stand up? Pastors, can you go? Can, can you go and, and find your member? It's a chance to ask them. Can you go? You, you have got many churches in the church. Can you go and find if they are here to submit or they are here to play or they are here to stay for a while? Ask them, ask them. Can you go, can you go? Go, Pastor, go, go, go. Don't sit down, go. Find. Can you go, go. If you go, go, go. You people go. Ask them, go. You people go, go. Can you go here? Go. go Find go. someone and ask them. Why are you in charis? Why will are you, you here to submit? Or you are here to find out. Or and you go and you divide other people. Can you go? Can you go? Can you go here? You one, two, three, four. Go. There are many churches. Superman. Yemanka Mautu Emelela Ah, Lady John, Alia Rob Ares Say Ares Ares Come back. I'm sure you have learned a lot. Come back. Can you say that one more time? I wanted you to go to the one you suspect. I Thank you. If you read Second Kings chapter 2 chapter 2 if you read from verse 1 to 12, to our verse one, we are all 12, that's where you will see trouble there. 2 Kings chapter 2, 1 to 12. Chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. If you go there, let's go there. The moment I read this, uh, I, I was concerned. Amen. Second Kings chapter two, one to twelve. Verse one of it, verse twelve. You will see a prophet called Elijah, who was having Elisha as a servant. Do you know that Elisha? You know, he used to pour water in the hands of Elijah when he ate. That was submission. Alright, now, this man, one day, God wanted to take him. And he didn't want to tell Elisha. But the moment he said, tarry here, I'm going somewhere. Elisha said, Please. I can't leave you. You can't, you can't go alone. Can you see somebody who submit also mind about where he's submitting? You, you can't go alone. Think about you just meet your 
your pastor somewhere and you don't even know your pastor is there. This man said, you know, I can't allow you to go. Wherever you go, I will go. He find all ways. All ways he can took him aside. No, no, no. He found some ways. Formulas of taking him aside. But this man said, I can't live. I can't live this one. And when it was happening, he went to a place where he met some prophets. And the prophet began to prophesy. To my surprise, these prophets are not prophesying to, uh, to Elijah. They tell Elisha who is following Why are you following him? Turn back. That man is going to die. Is going nowhere. His life is finished. And Elisha said, I know. Think about somebody prophesying you about your father in the Lord. Eh? Mm -hmm. You are the one who can say, I know. Because I'm submitting there. Elisha said, don't tell me about my father. Don't tell me about my parents in the Lord. Even what your professor can't take it. I know. So I'm following. He carried on following. He found some prophets again. They prophesied the same thing. He said, hey, I, I know. I know that man I'm following. I'm not turning back. And the Bible says he reaches to a place where he's supposed to receive to be received in heaven. So he realized this man is so strong and he's not turning back by anybody. If he might have turned, God will decide to choose someone somewhere. But he realized this one is the one who's fit for the anointing is heavy. For the double portion, he said, you can ask me whatever you want. And he said, I'm asking for double portion. He said, okay, I won't tell you anything, but when you see me going, it will happen to you. Can you see the courage that Elisha was having and the submission unto his master? When people are speaking bad things, he said, I know. He said, don't tell me I know. I'm here to submit. I know. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen to this. When Elijah went away, the mantle came and fell upon, upon Elisha. And there was no way back. Because it took miracle for Elijah to pass there. And other prophets were on the other side. Even the one who were prophesying, they were on the other side. But when Elisha was on the other side alone when he saw Elijah going up. When the mantle of Elijah followed him, he took that mantle and turned back and faced the same prophets who were prophesying him. And he said, hey, I want to see the God of my father. And he hit the water and there was a way. They began to say, now we can see the power that was in Elijah is upon Elisha. And remember, Elijah was a boss of them. Now, even then, they submit. I'm here to tell you that those who are saying you are going nowhere, they will see the power coming from above. They will say, we can see the anointing upon his father is upon him and is a double portion. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I read this, I said, you might be prophesied by, by wrong prophets who want to turn you wrong from the road so that you must not go and prove 
by yourself the power of the living God. They can just tell you turn back. But where you are going, you are going to receive leadership. I found something that is only who submits that God will allow people to submit on him. You start and submit so that God will send the people to submit on him. When you don't submit, why do you want some people to submit on you? So God will take you to a level of submission because he's preparing for the people to submit on you. Can I prophesy you? As you are busy submitting, there are things that are being arranged that will bring submission in your life. In your life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. When you read about submission, I found that in the book of James, 4-7, I found that submission, when you do it, it resists the devil. It makes Satan to flee. Because you won't hear the stories. You'll go to church and enter his gates with thanksgiving. You will rejoice. You won't be there with stories. You are there to worship your God and you'll be excited that you are going to church and worship your God. So Satan will be far away from you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So also submission Make you to understand that your opposers also you will be able to deal with them. Because if you can see that now, there are opposers who are saying, Don't do this. But yourself, you are carrying on saying, I want to submit to my God. So you are able to deal with them. You are able to know them. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's what I say, my friend. Do you have opposers this year? From this year to next year, your opposers will be under your feet. I said they will be under your feet. You believe that? What to melata by you? Amen. They will oppose you. But when they cannot defeat you, they will try to imitate you. A lot of you are hearing me. So, what do you do? Just carry on with submission. You carry on to be small. That's how God will raise you up. I see opposers try to imitate you. How you walk, how you talk, how you dress. Because I see you as a tracer. I see my God lifting you in front of your opposers. You can deal with them as God is raising you. You can go up and become on top of them if you believe. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Submission brings third number commit commitment. Submission brings commitment. Commitment is needed because your focus, when it's not diluted, your commitment will bring the result. When you are busy focusing where you are, others will come with stories from outside. Don't take them because they are there to change your focus and give you another direction. But commit yourself there. Stay there. Stay there. That's where God will raise you there. I see some people that God is raising in this place. In the name of Jesus. Say I will commit myself. Commitment means you are losing your life. I mean your life is there in the church. When the pastor says don't do this, you don't do it. Even if you want to do it. I mean when you are in the church, lift up your hands. Even if you don't want to lift your hands, you lift up your hands. You are losing your life. 
And that's how you'll find it. Jesus says, lose your life, you'll find it. I see some people today that God is raising. I say, God is raising you. Your submission will challenge your enemy. If you read in Luke 22, verse 42, you find the prayer of Jesus. This is a prayer of the person who is who's submitted in the church. Jesus says, My father, if it's possible, if it's possible, in other words, decide. If it's possible, allow this come to pass but not my will let it be your will because he who submitted he prayed this prayer understanding that he's under the covering of his father I say as long as I'm here, as long as I might not be seeing the blessings, but let it be the will of you, my father. It won't stop me on my saving and my submission. I don't know if you're hearing me. So, the will of the Lord will always prevail. You won't say, Why I don't fall when the pastor pray for me? You won't say, Why I don't fall. Don't testify or oh, why is not prophesying. You will say, I know this is the will of my father that is portrayed in my mentor. In my mentor. If God is having a word for me, it will come through my mentor. And that word will be the will of God. I can be poor. I don't mind. I have the mentor who is my father in the Lord. And the will of the Lord will prevail. Listen, the will of the Lord in your life will never allow you to fall under the grace. Always is God. God, that will lift you up by the grace of God. So the will of the Lord will bring the grace of the living God upon your life. So you can be delayed but God can still use the servant of the Lord in front of you to bring the grace of the living God upon your life because he is there for the will of God upon your life. If you believe, say Amen. So you cannot complain and say, hey, I'm still sick and I'm in the church. Hey, my situation is tough. I'm in the church. Take it as the will of God. Go to a point of saying, if God is not using my father to heal me, it's God's will. If I'm not getting a job, it's God's will. If I'm not prospering, it's God's will. You will see the will of God upon your life. The will of God is God have got a future and hope about your life. He will never allow you to stay in desolation. He will provide because he's Jehovah provider. He's Jehovah Shammah. He will be around for you. He will establish you. I know the will of God upon my father. I won't complain when it's tough. Whatever that happens, I will follow my father until God used him to bring a change in my life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. You who are a member of Charis, can you relax? You must relax. Say relax. Say relax. Stop flying here. And flying there. Relax. God will use your father. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Can you shake some and say, hey? Relax. But you know. 
Today, my lesson to you, check your reaction towards your pastor. That's how you are like that. If you want to prosper, check your reaction towards your pastor. If you want to be very rich, check your reaction towards... Are you hearing me? If you want to be healed, check what? Your reaction towards what? Your pastor. Amen. And that's how God will raise you. Can you ask your neighbor? I say, were you submitting? Are you going to submit? God loves you. I'm closing from there. I'm closing. Amen. I want people who says they were not submitting. They want to submit to come and surrender. Come. I'm calling an altar call. Come. I Amen. want to pray for you. God says there are some people who want to submit, but they were not Amen. submitting. Amen. Run forward and stand here. <laughs> Lipasilote Robada Mapanda We Eneko Siyama Osi The prayer I'm going to give you It will change your life It will change your life some of you, you go to church where you want. If you feel you can't go to church, you stay home. Some of you, when the pastor lets do this, it's a problem to you. Some of you end up even gossiping your pastors. God loves you as you are coming. You are here for yourself as you are coming. Submission will be your way to prosper. Say Jesus. Jesus. Today. Today. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life to you. Forgive me. Forgive me. From this sin. Father, Father. I will learn now. I will learn now. To submit. To submit. Unto your servants. Unto your servants. And I will obey them. And I will obey them. And save you faithfully. And save you faithfully. In your name. In your name. I believe. I believe. I'm a new creature. I am a new creature. My past is gone. My past is gone. My new life. My new life. Has come upon me. Has come upon me. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Listen. Before you sit down. Before you do la because from today we will be starting to pray with people in a very amazing way I will call all pastors now just to lay hands on you pastors can you come all of you after they lay hands on you you go back can you come very fast pastors will be here you just turn after they lay hands on you yes you will never lose what God has given you. You will never lose. You are going to live a contented life. You will never lose again the grace of God that is coming upon you. Let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit Come Can you move this side? Control Very situation That is right Hold my mind Hold my cares And burdens Unto you I roll Listen when we are going to sing this song, the pastor will be laying hands on you. It's over. It's over. It's over. God is blessing you. Thank you. Start to lay hands on them, pastor. After they lay hands on you, you must go. They lay hands only, you go. my soul. Let your Holy Spirit 
come, come and take hold of, of every situation that, that is trying. Hold, hold my, 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 hold my cares and, and burdens unto you. I roll Jesus Oh my Jesus Jesus Holy Jesus Ask God to give you that grace. When He speaks, you will do. Oh Jesus.
Father, 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 to my Jesus. Jesus, oh my Jesus, Jesus, Amen. Amen. Listen to this. What is happening here is shocking. There is the presence of the living God in this place. The presence of the living God in this place. I can still say God wants to renew our strength. God wants to make us to be what we are. Because we are born to be something that has been stolen. Can you just lift your hands? You worship. My promise to you is when you are doing it with all your heart, the Holy Spirit will fill you. You are going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. Thank Can you, you sing Jesus. down the song we've been singing? Let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens are to you. Come and take control. Every situation that has troubled my mind, all my cares and burdens are to you. I roll. Come and 
Oh! 